For the past few years, my role in our company is to understand attrition. Attrition means ito yung pagalis ng mga employees, whether it's voluntary or involuntary. Now, one of the top reasons why um, employees resign is because of management. And in this series that I will be sharing to you guys are uh, real stories of unpleasant experiences of some of the employees with their bosses. And the first uh, story that I share ko is from my very own experience. So, ito na nga. Uh, hindi ko pala absent noon as in and this was like more than a decade back uh, in fact nung, since first job ko uh, sobrang todo perform talaga ako as in halos perfectin ko na yung scorecards ganyan kasi nga gusto kong ma-promote uh, ng mabilis and unfortunately though may time na sobrang nagkasakit ako as in nawalan ako ng bosses pero uh, ang ginawa ko, pumasok pa rin ako tapos pumunta na ako sa clinic, sabi ng clinic hindi mo talaga kaya, so uwi ka na lang, and we're giving you 3 days to rest so, okay, di sinunod ko naman siya since advice naman siya ng clinic diba uh, so, yung boss ko that time sobrang workaholic, and di siya naniniwala na there's a term sickness, so yun so, pagbalik ko, hindi niya ako pinapansin and okay lang naman uh, dead ma lang ako, perform lang ako ganyan, but ang hindi ko matanggap or sobrang sumama talaga yung loob ko was, not only I didn't get paid for that 3 days that I was out, kahit na sobrang dami ko ng, sobrang dami kong sick leave, kasi nga ba hindi nga ako ma-absent but, she also did not endorse me for promotion kahit na top performer ako for consecutive months. And it took me another six months to get promoted, which, by the way, stuck ako with her until I got that promotion. Sobrang sama ng loob ko. Pero, yun nga, naging friend, sobrang close friend ko na siya ngayon. Pero yun nga, sobrang sama ng loob ko that time. So tell me, was I just sensitive at that time or she was just really an a-hole? Let me know on your comments.